Technology that originated in the making of nylons has found an application in a totally different field. This company, which manufactures women's nylons, has applied its technology to regenerative medicine. These tubes, about two centimeters in diameter, are the product. This is an artificial bypass blood vessel for heart surgery patients. This artificial blood vessel makes it possible to provide a revolutionary treatment to people with congenital heart defects. It causes the body to generate its own blood vessel that can carry blood from the entire body to the lungs. The artificial blood vessels that have been in use cannot change as a patient's body does. If the patient is a child, a number of operations are required as he or she grows. But this artificial blood vessel provides a scaffold on which a natural blood vessel is formed by the patient's own cells. It's made of a material that is biodegradable inside the body. For some time, the nylons maker had been using its fiber technology to make dissolving surgical sutures. Then, heart surgeon Toshiharu Shinoka realized the technology's potential for making blood vessels. He began working with the company to develop them in 2000. Here is a new yarn that was designed to be knitted into the blood vessel scaffold. The material will break down and be absorbed by the body over time. The yarns are turned into a tube with the same knitting method used to make support nylons. The tube is very stretchy, both lengthwise and widthwise. This is the base for the blood vessel scaffold. The inside and outside of the tube are then coated with thin, spongy layers made of another biodegradable material. Then the matrix of this scaffold is embedded with the patient's own bone marrow stem cells. This tube is used in the operation as the graft vessel bypassing the heart. After the operation, the patient's cells colonize the pores of the sponge and the matrix of the knitted tube. At the same time, the biodegradable materials gradually dissolve. About six months after the operation, patients have a new blood vessel composed entirely of their own cells. In August 2011, Yale University, with which Shin Oka is affiliated, conducted the first clinical trial surgery on a three-year-old child. Now this three-year-old will not need any future operations to replace the artificial blood vessel and will hopefully grow up nice and healthy. A company that makes women's nylons has helped doctors to save lives as well.